The Moffat in the Metal gig is much a part of the event as the band on stage and the music. You might trip or something like that, but everyone will just kind of pull you up. In such a small space, you're going to bump into each other, you're going to like fall and stuff. I've never had anyone get angry at me or anything. No one's there to be annoying to other people. Everyone's there because it's good music. It allows you to sort of instantly have a common grave with someone that you've never met or never spoken to before. It's a great way of starting to talk to that person, you know. It's pretty nice having the sister or someone in the family into music. Because you've always got someone there who will, will go to gigs with you or listen to music, you can share music, you know. If you have friends, you have to try and find something you both like. If you get family, you can just like drag them along. Mm. So I sort of have to be your best friend for life. We saw Greta Van Fleet, that was very good. We both agreed that that's the best concert we've ever been to. I didn't say that. I said it was very good. I didn't say it was the best. You said to me it was better than The Stones. Oh yeah, because The Stones are in like the 90s. Oh, okay. so they can't really play. It was very good though. It was very good. Yeah. Going back to the question. Millie was never really into metal. I think they got into metal, which is pretty cool. So we share a lot of similar music tastes um, in general. Apart from the Beatles though. I love the Beatles, Millie hates them. The f is that? Paul McCartney. I don't like Paul McCartney. Why do you not like Paul McCartney? Don't worry. The self-titled Slipknot album, where there's a song on there called Get This, and every time one of us plays it, we have to sit and listen to the whole thing because it's one of their best songs. I wouldn't have a relationship with him if we weren't both into metal. Smoke on the Water is on that. Glue together. Is there Smoke on the Water on that? Mm. I feel like he'd say we would, but like it would be bad. Not that we hate each other, we're just like, we're very different people, but we're very similar when it comes to music, which for both of us has basically been our life forever. It's holding us together. If we're not getting along, I can say to him, like, have you listened to this new album or something? And that's kind of, you, we don't have to think about anything else. We can just talk about music. We read up about the, the members and the bands and what they stand for. And a lot of them support a lot of mental health charities and issues. Despite how they seem, a lot of them have, have come into music for the same reason, because they've had issues in the past with mental health. And there's a whole community of people like that in the same situation as you. He just came out of the gig. I was talking to the people who we just watched. I started talking about mental health to them. I just met them, which is cool. I think a lot of people who are into metal are into it for similar reasons of some mental health issues in the past. Or you don't just like metal because you like the music necessarily. You understand I think a lot it. of people like the music and they love the meaning behind it and what they stand for and the artists. The way they talk about mental health and stuff like that through their music and just being able to create something so beautiful when they aren't being beautiful or they have they're not around beautiful things is something that's really important to me is like kind of crazy that can happen i've spoken to so many people from what they're wearing the bands or like patches if you have kind of anxiety and you don't want to talk to people wearing stuff about the bands that are important to you it's a way of talking to people without talking to them. Having your emotions and feelings played back to you. I feel like most people are into metal because they like the release and the aggression, even though they aren't aggressive themselves. They're some of the nicest people I've met at my head. I think I'll never not be into metal. A lot of people say when you kind of feel it, it clicks and it's never going to stop. It's just always going to be with me. And you were born, and my dad was watching football. Dad watching football, yeah. you didn't want to come. And, and, and you ran to finish the game, so I had to wait. <laughs> but it's one of my earliest memories, I think. It's a bit late. Yeah. Five? Mm. Oh, Jesus. I don't remember you being born. But you would, would you? Mm. Mm.